Hello guys, eFootball 2026 is here, but cloning it on iPhone isn't as easy as before. But in this video, I'll show you the easiest and safest way to do it, both with a PC and without a PC method. Make sure to subscribe and watch every part of the video, or you might run into errors. Let's start with no PC method first. First, make sure you have enough storage on your device, as we'll be installing another eFootball app. Let's get started. I've provided all the links in the description below. Open the first link, and you'll see this type of interface on your device. Scroll down and tap Install DNS Profile. You'll see a pop-up on your screen, simply tap Allow, and the profile will be installed. Now go to Settings, then General, then VPN and Device Management. Here, you'll see the profile we just downloaded. Click on the profile and install it as shown on the screen. Also, make sure in the DNS section that Anti-Revoke option is selected. Next, a new app will appear on your iPhone. Open it and scroll down to the eSign section. From here, install the eSign app that appears on top of the section. In my case, it's BMW Brilliance Automotive Limited, so I'm going to install this one. You should also install the eSign that appears on top for you. Once the eSign app is installed, open it, and if you see a message like Untrusted Developer, don't worry. Go to Settings, then General, then VPN and Device Management, trust the version of eSign you installed and go back to the app. Accept all agreements and this interface will open. Now go to the second link in the description and download the eSign certificate from there. After downloading it, open the eSign app, tap the three dots on the top right corner and select Import. Import the certificate you just downloaded. Next, tap the certificate again and select Unzip. Open the certs folder, then the eSign cert folder, and import the eSign version certificate you downloaded. In my case, it's BMW Brilliance Automotive Limited, so that's the one I'm importing. Now, go to the third link in the description to download the eFootball IPA. I've provided a Google Drive link to make it easy to install for you all guys. Once downloaded, open the eSign app again, tap the three dots, select Import and import the eFootball IPA you just downloaded. This may take a little time, so be patient. Once the IPA is imported, go to the App section. You should see the eFootball app here, tap on it and select Signature. In the Bundle Identifier section, add some text, I'm adding XYZ for now. You can also change the name of the app if you like, then tap the Signature button to begin the signing process. If you want to clone more eFootball apps, make sure to use a different text in the Bundle Identifier each time and install it again. Once finished, you'll get the option to install the app. Tap Install and the eFootball app will start downloading. Once the process is completed, You'll have two eFootball apps on your device in which you can log in to different accounts. Now if you want to free up some storage, then you can delete the eFootball IPA from here. I have already deleted the IPA. Then go to App section and then click Signed option on top. Here also you will see the eFootball app. Just delete it from there also. Then if you want to install another eFootball app go to Unsigned section on top and follow the previous process from this step. Now I'll show you the PC method to clone eFootball on your iPhone. Let's jump directly onto the computer screen. First, download the eFootball IPA from the second link in the description. Then, go to the fourth link in the description to download Sideloadly app. Once you click the link, a new page will appear. Simply scroll down and download Sideloadly and iTunes for your platform. Make sure to uninstall any previous version of iTunes and install it from the link I provided, or else it will not work. I already have. Then, enter your Apple ID and make sure it's the same account that is logged into your iPhone. Here, if you want to clone only one eFootball app, simply click Start. But if you want to clone multiple apps, click Advanced Settings and untick Use Automatic Bundle ID option and add some random text every time you install a new app. Then click Start. Now it will ask for your Apple ID password, enter it and click start again. 
Then, the installation process will begin. This may take around 10 to 20 minutes or sometimes a little longer depending on your system and internet speed. Once the process ends, you'll have two eFootball apps installed on your iPhone. Now before opening the game, go to Settings, then General, then VPN and Device Management. Here, trust your Apple ID. Now you can open the cloned eFootball app and enjoy multiple accounts on a single iPhone. Now guys, with this process, your eFootball will only run for seven days before it expires, and you'll need to reinstall it every week. But there's an easy way to fix this, so you don't have to go through the full installation again. Simply click on the AirWhoop icon at the bottom right corner of your Windows taskbar, and you'll see the Sideloadly app icon there. Right-click on it and choose the Current Installs option. You'll see the eFootball app listed, along with the number of days it has left before expiring. Every five or six days before it expires, just click on the app in this list and select the Refresh Now button. Then open Sideloadly, and you'll see the eFootball app start refreshing. The best part is, you won't have to log in to your eFootball account again. It simply refreshes the existing app. But if you forget to refresh before the expiry date, you'll get the eFootball is no longer available error, and then you'll have to reinstall. So remember, refresh it once a week to keep it running smoothly. And that's all for today's video. If this video helps you, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comment down below. I read and reply to every single comment. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.